G'day everyone, today in this video we'll be doing our yearly laptop recommendations for creating awesome live video productions. It's 2022 and this year we've decided to do something a little different. We're just going to be recommending the one laptop option. We're currently recommending the Intel 12th gen i7 CPUs with the NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPUs. So stick around to find out why we've chosen this combination and what you should look for when you're purchasing a laptop. We spend a lot of time here at vMix testing capture equipment, desktop computers, cameras, controllers, and of course today's subject, laptops. At vMix.com you can find all of the equipment that we recommend including computers and laptops. So if you head to our reference systems page you'll be able to see the different options we suggest for different production scenarios. On the Sapphire tab you'll see all of the laptops that we recommend. Now if you can't find the exact model then you can check the feature set that we recommend. So if you've already got a laptop and you want to see how it runs with vMix before purchasing a new laptop, I'd recommend just downloading our free 60-day trial on vMix.com, test it out and see how it goes. Typically when using laptops for live video production, the main question you should be asking yourself is, what kind of capture devices am I going to be using? In other words, how are you going to get your camera feeds into your production computer? Desktop PCs will give you a lot more capture options because you can add PCI Express capture cards that allow up to eight cameras. Whereas laptops will have limited capture options. Now, are you going to be using a Thunderbolt capture device or a Thunderbolt enclosure to have up to four SDI or HDMI cameras? Or are you going to be using USB, NDI, or perhaps another type of IP input? Now, in the past, we've recommended two types of laptops, one for Thunderbolt capture, and another more affordable option that you could use with USB and NDI. This year we stumbled across a laptop that was affordable and also offered Thunderbolt 4. The laptop we've selected is the ASUS Tough Gaming F17. This is a 17 inch laptop with an Intel i7 12700H processor, Nvidia RTX 3060 GPU, 16 gig of DDR5 RAM, Thunderbolt 4 and 500 gigabyte SSD. Now the price that we paid, it came in at around $1,500 USD, which is pretty impressive for a Thunderbolt laptop. Now they also make a 15 inch version, which is the F15, and that comes with a one terabyte hard drive, but it also comes with a few RAM options. So make sure that you get the 16 gig RAM option if you are looking for the 15 inch version of this laptop. Now the F17 comes with a full HD screen which is a plus for me as there's going to be no issues with scaling or resizing for your display. That can be a little bit of a problem if it's a say a 4K monitor or something like that. Now it does come with a 144 Hertz screen, but I've gone through and altered the display settings to 60 Hertz for that extra performance. Now it's all about squeezing as much juice out of the turnip as possible when it comes to laptops. Now it has a full number pad, which is awesome. And of course it has a lit up WASD area for all of you WASD heads out there. It comes with two USB 3.2 type A ports, a Thunderbolt 4 port and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C. As this laptop isn't really in the premium end of the market, the screen probably isn't going to be as bright and well calibrated as one that's a thousand or two thousand dollars more expensive. But hey, you can't really have everything. And it does have a bit of a plasticky design to it, Although they claim that it is military grade, not really quite sure what that means, but that's what ASUS is saying. Now it comes with lightning fast DDR5 RAM and has a 3060 GPU, which gives you great performance and also resizable bar. Now all in all, this laptop offers a great feature set for a reasonable price. Why Intel? Well, from all the reviews that we've read and videos we've watched and benchmarks that we've seen, the 12700H processor provides more power than the Ryzen 6800H. So that's why we've gone with the Intel option for this particular laptop. Now you can find an AMD version of this particular laptop, which is called the A17, and that has the 6800H in it instead of the i7. However, it was only a little bit cheaper and we thought that the extra power and the Thunderbolt 4 made the i7 a better option. Do you like to get muxed? I know I do. Well, let me explain why. Over the last few years, more laptop manufacturers have targeted gamers with their gaming laptops. Shocking, isn't it? Now by that, I mean that they're trying to help gamers and people doing video production to get as much performance as they can out of the laptop, which is really great for vMix. 
Manufacturers are now allowing laptop owners to bypass the integrated graphics entirely through a MUX switch. Typically, laptops will have Optimus installed, which attempts to conserve the power by routing the display graphics through the integrated graphics and not directly from your powerful GPU. By having a MUX switch, we can tell this F17 to only use the discrete graphics card. And so I'm gonna show you how to set that up in a minute. The great thing is more people are talking about MUX switches. So manufacturers are advertising this more prominently. And there are more websites that list laptops that have MUX switches. A fellow Aussie YouTuber, Jared's Tech does great laptop reviews and has a list of MUX switched laptops on their website. So I'll pop a link in their description if you wanna check out that. Previously, we've needed to look for G-Sync laptops as the best indicator of being able to bypass the integrated GPU, but we don't really need that as much anymore as manufacturers have started implementing MUX switches. Now, thankfully, ASUS heavily advertises the MUX switch now. So you can go onto their website and they'll say which ones have the MUX switch and which ones don't. I think MSI do that as well. So you may want to just really check the information and the spec sheet when purchasing your laptop. Okay, so while I have you here, I'm going to jump onto my laptop, which has been running right here. Probably might've heard the fans. It's been sitting here and I'm going to jump into that and I'll show you how to set up the MUX switch on the ASUS. Okay, so here I am in my computer here. Now what I'm going to do is go to the Armory Crate. So ASUS have a, a piece of software called the Armory Crate and it allows you to make some changes to the computer. So you go over here to the system configuration section and you'll see this MUX switch. So that gives you the option to change it from using the hybrid mode or using the discrete GPU. So you just click on it, make the change, restart the computer. But I've already done that. As you can see here, it says discrete GPU. So that's all you need to do in order to switch it to use the discrete graphics card. Um, and so that is good to go. All right, so while I've got you here on this laptop, I'll go ahead and show you what kind of production I'm running today on the laptop. Now, I have got four cameras coming in. One, two, three, four all coming in via the AJA IO X3 here, which is the Thunderbolt capture device. So I've got four cameras coming in here. I have two NDI cameras as well. Um, I have a whole lot of 4K 60 video files loaded up to show you that resizable bar is working. And uh, let's just go down the bottom now and we'll see that I've got a record happening. I have two records going on. I have a desktop capture record via vMix AVI and an MP4 recording. And I also have a stream set up going out at 1080 4.5 megabit. Now down the bottom, you'll see that my render time, totally fine. My GPU mem is at 100%. And as you can see next to that, the CPU is perfectly fine, meaning that the resizable bar is kicked in and I'm using a ton of my GPU's uh, RAM. So that's no problem at all. Then you can see obviously the CPU and vMix is under 10% and the total is just a little bit over 10% as well. So everything is humming along really nicely. Now this is kind of a pretty hefty production that we've got going here and it is handling it. I mean, I probably wouldn't go this hard on this laptop, but uh, yeah, it's definitely handling it perfectly fine. So it's all running at 1080, 2997 as well. So that's kind of the production that we have set up. Four cameras, two NDI, two records, stream, and yeah, everything seems to be going okay. Now when you do get your laptop, we always say remove all the bloatware. Bloatware equals nopeware. Now what you'll need to do is go through and remove things like the virus scanners that are third party. We recommend using the Windows Defender that's built into Windows, that works perfectly fine. So I removed McAfee, I removed McAfee Personal Security, and I also removed WebAdvisor by McAfee. Now this is tricky because it's under W for WebAdvisor by McAfee, not McAfee. So that's something that you need to keep into consideration. Uh, there are some audio effects that I removed, like the um, 3D virtual something something audio uh, and or 360 or AI audio or something like that. So I removed any sort of additional audio effects that aren't needed uh, on the laptop, especially for vMix. Now I also went through and made sure that I'm using high performance when it comes to the power. And I also went through to the NVIDIA control panel settings and I had it selected for prefer maximum performance. Now you can check out the link in the description that goes through all of the things that you should set up when you first get your laptop, go through all of the things to maximize the performance in vMix. Now let's have a quick look at other laptops that you might be able to get. Now, if you can't get this particular model, then you could look at a laptop with an i7 12700H CPU or higher, 3060 GPU or higher, 16 gig of DDR5 RAM or higher, 
and a laptop with a MUX switch or G-Sync. If possible, try and get dual channel RAM as well. Now, if you need Thunderbolt, make sure that you buy a laptop that has Thunderbolt. There are plenty of higher end laptops like the ASUS ROG, Zephyrus M16, or perhaps the Dell Alienware range, that might offer a more premium experience for those out there that are looking for more of a, a premium laptop. Now, they might come with a brighter screen, a larger SSD, a non-Q GPU, more USB ports, a nicer finish, and perhaps more RGBs. Maybe you prefer a different brand or your company only has access to specific models or brands. So if that's the case, just make sure that you cross-check all of the settings that we recommend. Now, if you are looking for even more performance, you could look at getting an Intel i9-12900H or perhaps a higher GPU like a 3070 or a 3080. Now, if you really did want an AMD-based laptop, then the 6800H would be your best bet. Just make sure that it has at least a 3060 GPU and a MUX switch for the best results with vMix. All right, so what if you don't have the budget for this laptop? Well, we picked this laptop as it has a lot of features for the price point, but we do understand that every penny or cent counts. So now it's time for Frugal Tim's Tips. Firstly, look for sales. Laptops go on sale all the time, so make sure that you have alerts set up for gaming laptops on your favorite sites. So gaming laptops is gonna be the, the key sort of search term that you're going to be looking for, as it's gonna have a good CPU and a dedicated GPU. Remember when I said at the start, what kind of capture devices am I going to be using? Is that long enough? Well, if you're not using Thunderbolt, then you don't need a Thunderbolt laptop. Traditionally, Thunderbolt laptops will be more expensive than the ones that don't have it. So check out non-Thunderbolt options with similar specs that we recommend. My Pop Pop used to say to me, Timmy boy, remember that old laptops need a good home too. Now this rings true today more than ever. As newer models hit the market, you'll find that the last gen CPUs are out on the sale pile. Especially places like Amazon, you'll find sellers that are trying to get rid of old stock, so they'll be selling their laptops for cheap. So look out for 11th gen Intel i7 CPUs, but make sure it's the high-end ones, the 11800H, and not the low 11300 models. Perhaps look for a Ryzen 5800H too, as they're still a decent laptop. Now we have plenty of older gen, like 9th, 10th gen i7 laptops around the office and they still do the trick. So it's always a good idea to maybe check out older gen if you don't have the budget for a brand new one. Now, if you are gonna buy an older AMD laptop, don't get one prior to the Ryzen 4800H. Hey, you. Hey, you. Yes, me? Plug in your laptop. Ah, okay, thanks for the reminder, yes. I can't say this enough and he can't say this enough. So we're going to say it again. Plug, Plug in, in your, your laptop. laptop. It's not going to work properly unless you do. A laptop battery is not powerful enough to run laptops like this um, at maximum speeds. So if you want to use vMix and you want to get the best out of vMix, even any other program that's going to be using your laptop well, make sure that you plug it in. We get so many emails with people saying vMix isn't working and they're running it off the battery and they're trying to do four cameras and NDI and all sorts of crazy stuff. So make sure that you plug in your laptop. I say it every laptop video, but make sure that you plug it in. All right, so if you've already got a laptop and you wanna test it out with vMix, just head to vmix.com. It's a free 60 day trial if you wanna check it out. Now, if you're unsure about buying a laptop and you've been through all of our laptop propaganda, you can always send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. If you found a laptop that you wanna buy, just send through a link to that particular model and so we can check out the website and make sure that it's all up to code. Up to code? Up to spec? Up to the vMix standard. Are you doing laptop productions? If so, drop us a comment. Let us know what you're doing with them and what type of laptop that you're using. We're always interested to see how people are using vMix and what sort of laptop and equipment they're using. And I guess if you got this far in this video too, maybe tell us what your favorite soup is. That probably will confuse people when they read the comments but that's okay. I'm a big fan of pumpkin soup, but hey, that's not for everybody. Don't, please don't think it's strange because it's not, I guess. All right, so thanks for watching and we will stream you later.